Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to create amazing artwork. Today I've had a request to draw an emperor penguin. So this is what we're going to be drawing today. Get yourself a sketchbook or some plain white paper. You're also going to need a pencil, an eraser, a black pen, and I've got a whole set of colouring pencils here, but the only ones that you really need is a yellow, an orange and a black. So that's all you're going to need. If you like drawing animals, please check out my free PDF of how to draw a horse galloping, which is just up here. So let's get started. So first of all, we're going to start off with the body of the penguin. So if you just draw a shape just like this, slightly bigger at the top, then going inwards like that with your pencil, make sure you do it lightly. I'm just doing it a little bit more darker so that you can see it. Now next we're going to be drawing a triangle which is going to be the tail. So just draw a triangle just like this down there. Now this is the hard part. So from this side of this shape we're going to be drawing a curved line. I always find it's useful to pivot using my wrist so the curved line will go in this direction. So starting here, draw the curved line just going off like that. That's going to be the beak. So next, we're going to need the head. So just a little way off from this shape, starting about there, we're going to be drawing an oval shape for the head. So, here we go. Now these shapes don't have to be perfect. You can see that this oval isn't perfect by any shape or form. <laughs> just draw a rough guide for the head. Now, we're going to join up the beak. Then the beak comes down like this. And very lightly, we're just going to join up all the shapes so it looks more like a penguin. Now we're going to be drawing the wing. So if you put your finger there and your finger at the top of the head, and then slowly at the same pace, bring them together. Where your fingers meet, that's going to be the top of the wing. So, this is going to come round in a shape like that and round like that. Now we're going to be drawing the feet. So, if we just draw a few furry lines coming out, feathery lines I should say, and then the toes are going to be pointing out. So we've got one little toe poking out from there followed by another toe there. Now we're going to draw a line to show where the, um, where the black part of the penguin's coat um, is defined from the white part. So that just goes down like this, bring it round. And at about here, we're gonna go all the way round to a shape just like this going to go under the chin and we're going to make a mark where we're going to put the eye just above that line that we drew and then now we're going to draw another shape it's going to be colored in orange this part just like so now we're going to be using a black pen just to draw the outline so if we start at the top of the beak and it will come round so, all the way around the back. Then when we hit the tail, we're not going to do such a sharp line there. We're just going to make it curve to the ground. We're going to do some feathery lines coming round. And a few more down the bottom. Just little kind of U shapes. Then bring it round. And then starting at the top again, I'm going to come all the way down, all the way around. And just a few little feathery lines at the bottom. Okay, we're going to go around the toes, the nail, and the other one. And then we're going to follow the pattern of the penguin. Coming round all the 
way behind the wing. And here we're just going to do some feathery lines and then the wing. Coming round and then this shape here. I'm going to define the beak a little bit better, show the top part of the beak from the bottom. And then we're going to draw a larger oval for the eye, followed by the inner eye. Now I'm going to rub it all out, all the pencil lines, and then we'll start colouring in. Alrighty, so now we're going to be colouring in. So I've rubbed out all the pencil lines. Now with a yellow pencil, just lightly colour in this area. It's starting to take a bit more shape now, isn't it? And then lightly colour in this area. And here, start at the top, colour it in quite darkly at the top. I don't even know if that's an adjective, darkly. Anyway, and then make it a little bit lighter as you go down. So just bringing it down. progressively lighter as we go down. Okay, now with your orange pencil, we're going to be going on top of this yellow here and we're gonna blend it all in, leaving a little line of yellow at the top there. Can you see that? And then we're going to be doing the same here. Press quite hard here. There we go. And then here, we're only going to do the orange at the top so that it fades into the yellow. And then you make it quite um, intense at the top here. And then it gets progressively lighter, just like the yellow. So that will blend in. If you want some help blending, just use your rubber and just blend the two together and then go over it with the yellow afterwards. Okay, now we're going to be doing the coat. So, quite randomly, I've chosen this colour. Um, it's called Blue Violet Lake, but you can use a light blue or a grey. Anything that's kind of a, a lighty, a light colour blue. So I'm just going to just start colouring the coat with this um, very pale violet. And you'll see why in a second. And I'm also going to put this pale violet up the top and for the eye, going all the way up. So basically the violet color just shows where the highlighted area, so where the light hits the penguin. So at the top of the tail, across the back. And then now I'm going to use the black and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna be getting progressively heavier towards the underside of the chin. So this I'm gonna press really hard and then it's gonna be much lighter towards the top, leaving out the eye. So I'm going to speed things up now. So here's our finished penguin drawing. You can see that I've shaded in a little bit in black or kind of a grey colour just at the bottom of the white patch just to give it um, some shadows there. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.